A warning from the Better Business Bureau about what it's calling a scam. Robocalls that sound just like political candidates asking for campaign donations. But the BBB says it's all a high-tech hoax. Eric Glasser shows you how this works and what to look out for. I've gotten 14 phone calls. 14. Like so many of us, Patricia Uhas is sick and tired of being bombarded with unsolicited robocalls, many of them using familiar area codes. So it looks like it's a local number. Now, the Better Business Bureau is warning about what they call a scam that takes that sort of deception to a whole new level. Brian Oglesby says in this highly charged political atmosphere, con artists are using bogus robocalls to prey on people's emotions, urging them to donate to a political campaign. In some cases, the recorded voice on the other end has been created by using artificial intelligence, making it sound just like the political candidate. And pretend to be someone that they're not. Oglesby says the call starts with an automated recording, urging the user to press a particular number to donate. As soon as that happens, a live person gets on the other end of the call to take your credit card information. Now what you thought was a political contribution is gone and maybe worse. They can go and purchase many things online and you can be out a lot more money than the initial donation that you intended to give. The Better Business Bureau says the best way to battle this or any robocall scam is to start by not answering the phone if you don't recognize the number. If you do pick up, don't press any buttons, don't ask to be connected, just hang up. And if you haven't done so already, register to get on the national no-call list. If it's important enough, they'll leave you a message and they'll leave detailed information on how to contact them. Scammers are not going to leave that information. If you do want to donate, the Better Business Bureau recommends being proactive, searching out a candidate's legitimate website or phone number and giving that way. They don't want to discourage people from donating. They just want to make sure that your hard-earned money goes to your favorite candidate, not a criminal. Also, be aware that legitimate political campaigns are allowed to try to reach out to you on your phone, even if you're on that no call list. So you can see how that makes it even tougher to tell real campaign calls from those fake ones. But the Better Business Bureau says that con artists will try to keep you on the phone and convince you to donate right there on the spot. Legitimate political campaigns, they say, will encourage you to do your homework, verify their information, and give when it's most convenient for you.